Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and today we're going to talk about the worst parts of being a YouTuber. So, before we start on this, I would like for you all to know, don't ever take this as I don't enjoy being a YouTuber, or that I dislike the community that we have here. I think that my community is awesome, and these are more just to get a lot of things off of my chest that a lot of people don't necessarily understand or even really take into consideration before they watch probably even a lot of people's videos. So we're, we're going to start off with YouTube's issues as a whole, as itself, like as a channel. Uh, so YouTube sometimes will change a lot of things. They give you all these analytics and stuff that you can look at to try to understand your watch time, your views, uh, where people are watching you from, the demographics that are watching you. There is so much stuff to sort through. So, there are also, though, different ways for you to see um, other people's tags and stuff along those lines. And to stuff that YouTube will push your content for. Like, if you're doing really good on watch time or you're getting a lot of views or this, that, and the other. But they change that constantly. They don't tell you what they changed it to. They don't give you a heads up of, hey, we're changing this. Um, then there's times, too, where they'll be like, oh, you had this many views in the month. Then, like, a week after that month is over, they'll be like, no, no, you had less views than that. We're going to take some views away. They, they normally announce that they're doing that. I don't know where they announce that at. My, my wife's normally the one to tell me about that. And sometimes they'll be like, oh, no, there, there were more views than what we recorded you as having. And it's like... I don't, I don't know how this is this hard. I don't know if it's just that you're trying to be the NFL and all of a sudden things that are catches where the person caught the ball are no longer catches because of this, that, and the other reason. If someone clicks on the video and they watch the video, whether they made it all the way through that video or not, they watch the video. Even more so if they watch the ad that you played. So YouTube, however you want to word this, a view is a view. Now, that's, I get it. I understand they want people to stay on the site longer so they'll reward people that if you watch just my video then you stop watching YouTube I can get punished for that if you don't watch a certain percentage of the way through the video I can get penalized for that there are just so many things to take into consideration with what this channel constantly YouTube constantly changes these things too like so that's what makes this so hard is I could get one month completely praised for doing one thing and then the next month they're like ah, ah ah you shouldn't be doing that how dare you like what make up your minds i get it there are a lot of different algorithms there are a lot of different things you guys want and you probably have so many different people working on these algorithms that they're probably conflicting you prob not there's no one single person that understands every algorithm let's face that um, so yeah, Bob over here might make an algorithm that contradicts Jimmy's algorithm over here. And next thing you know, those algorithms are beating each other and penalizing certain channels for different things. Um, so that's, that's part of the hard parts with being on the channel or on the website as a whole. They also like to do this thing where they remove people they feel aren't active subscribers so a lot of times I'll get messages, like there's some videos where I just get some comments and they're like, oh, I was unsubbed from your channel and I never knew. Or you'll get comments that are like, hey, I have notifications turned on yet YouTube never notified me about your video. These are all commonplace. These are all known issues with YouTube. I don't see why YouTube bothers unsubbing people in general. Um, personally, I've only ever been unsubbed from two channels that I didn't know I was unsubbed from. I have one channel I haven't watched a video from in like three years, but that channel hasn't uploaded a video in like three years. So YouTube doesn't really penalize me for that uh, and they don't remove it. Now, if I were to make videos for, say you didn't want to watch every video I released that week, or maybe you were on vacation, YouTube might unsub you. No one knows. No one has any idea what they're doing. Um, but then, so those are all uncontrollable things. Those are all things that are outside of your control. And no matter how hard you try, it will never fully be in your control. 
Um, you can find something that works really well, but that doesn't mean eventually it's not going to work really well anymore. Um, let's move on to other things, though, other than YouTube itself. Uh, so, you're going to have a lot of people criticize your channel. Whether it be friends that are telling you, hey, you need to be doing this, or whether it be family, or whether it be subscribers, or whether it just be someone who happened to across one of your videos, they're all going to have feedback for you. Feedback's great. I love feedback. The issue with feedback is, A, you're going to run into people that are going to be very upset that you don't take their feedback, whether they be a very, very small minority. Um, like, sometimes someone just might dislike my lighting. Okay, I've had worse lighting, I promise you. I have natural light sometimes, I have a floor lamp sometimes, and on occasion I use the ring light. As we all know, when I use the ring light, I start blinking like crazy. Um, but a lot of times that feedback is going to be manifested in some really mean things. Like some terrible things. Um, I've had people say some crazy mean things to me, like, oh, hey, I can see the light reflecting off your bald spot. Could you put your head in a different direction? By the way, I don't have a bald spot. I have a receding hairline. For those of you that are incapable of understanding the difference there. Um, and then they'll, they'll, like, you'll be like, oh, that was rude. Or you'll say something along those lines and they'll be like, dude, I don't know why you're so upset. I'm just giving you criticism. Like, all right, let's, let's be very clear here. There is a difference between being a critic and being an asshole. Big difference. Huge difference. Being a critic doesn't give you an excuse to be an asshole. Fun fact for you there. That's you essentially trying to make an excuse for why you're being a dick. Or um, how a lot of people like to make fun of me for swallowing a lot. Sometimes I swallow a lot during a video. By the way, I take anxiety medication. Not all the time, but my mouth gets pretty dry pretty quickly. I also have a lot of sinus problems. So, uh, the person who wanted to comment about me being nasally, yeah. And I'll, I'll say it this way. You're going to have a lot of these eventually... You're going to have a lot of these eventually build up. And when I say build up, I mean at some point... You're going to come across enough of them. And you're going to... Okay, thanks for the feedback. You're, you're going to move on. And keep in mind, you've got trolls mixed in with this too. You're going to have people telling you, Oh, dude, you look like you smoke pole. Oh, you name it. Any number of things people will say to you. I've had people tell me I should have aborted my autistic son. That's, that's actually been a comment that was made. In a video he was in too. Um, you're going to have haters that literally just hate watch your video. But here's the thing, when all these start building up, so you'll, you'll be nice. And I, so personally, I respond to almost every comment. Here's where the issue comes into play with that. Eventually, because that means I even read every mean comment. I read literally almost every comment that comes across my channel. When you get to enough mean ones, finally, it's going to bottle... All that bottle, it's gonna, someone's going to drop a mento right into that Diet Coke bottle that you're living in. And next thing you know, right in that comment section, you're going to Kamehameha right on that person. Just all over them. And uh, you'll be like, yeah, that's right, I showed you. You thought you were going to be a dick? I'm a bigger dick. But someone's eventually going to see that comment. They're going to be like, you shouldn't have done that. That was very rude. And it's like, the part that you don't get is how many of those mean comments I sat through. Like, when I did that mean comments video, a lot of people said I shouldn't have done it, and I'm giving them all this recognition. That was actually pretty therapeutic for me. That felt really good for me to do that video and actually turn around and do it. And I know that I'm not as mean as what I could be. Uh, I try to pride myself on being a nice person. And the hate watching your videos thing, I mean, literally... Within an hour of uploading a video, I will have a thumbs down. I could literally go feed homeless children. Like, just go onto the street and feed homeless children, and someone would dislike it like, Oh, you gave them a Capri Sun. How dare you, you sick bastard. And it's like, what? 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 Doesn't matter what you do, someone's gonna hate it. You're never gonna make everyone happy. So here's, 
Here's the other thing too. Yes, GameStop videos pull in views for me. Here's a fun fact for you. Running a YouTube channel involves you growing. You need to grow. I try to keep my GameStop content very fresh and very original. I don't typically try to milk a GameStop series unless GameStop comes out with some news. Then you might see a bunch of them in a short period of time, like, oh, GameStop's closing 150 stores, oh shit. Or, hey, oh, GameStop, Circle of Life. GameStop kills Circle of Life. Yeah, sometimes news content needs to be done quickly and it has to get out of the way. I'm sorry if I just uploaded a GameStop video. Uh, I don't try to necessarily milk that franchise. Um, obviously, I like for people to watch my other content as well, but sometimes you're, you're going to have some stuff come up to where you have to do it. And you're going to have people that go, I hate that you talk about GameStop so much. And it's like, dude, you do understand the vast majority of the people on my channel want that. Like that, that is the content they are here for. Um, I get a lot of you love my other content. Like a lot of people are like, oh, you don't do that many game reviews. Look, man, this is my channel, my voice. I make content that I'm happy with which is the first thing you should be super concerned about. And the second one is making sure that you're making content that people want to watch. No matter how fun you have, or how much fun you have while doing YouTube, it is still a business. You still need to think about growing it. You, it it's not going to grow itself. So you have to kind of think about keeping that content fresh and original and how to get people to enjoy it. Um, and I try to do that without using clickbaity titles, which a lot of people like to do. So I'm going to give mad props to myself on that because I've avoided that. Um, I also interact with you guys a lot more than pretty much any other YouTuber, at least that I've seen. And at least in my size range, I've seen some small YouTubers. That, yeah, they start off that way and then most of them lose it. I, I mean, I've, I've done this since I started my channel and a lot of you guys have been here since the beginning. A lot of you guys remember interacting with me in huge chunks. But that's also why I have the Twitter. That's why I have a Discord. Is for you people to be able to interact with me. Whether I uploaded the, a video that day or not. If you have a question for me. You can shoot it at me on my Discord or on my Twitter. Chances are I'm going to respond. Might not always be super quick. I do have a job that I work full time. So sometimes if I'm busy. I might not get right back to you. I also have a wife and two kids. So sometimes when we're out, there are a lot of times where I'm just like, I'm not going to use my phone. I'm going to ignore things and I'm going to enjoy this day. Um, but people are going to hate. No matter what you do, everyone's someone's going to find something to hate that you're doing. Um, I, like, I don't script. None of my videos are scripted. Some people hate that because they're like, oh, you can't stay on topic. Personally, I think I am a great speaker. I think I have a really good speaking presence. Um, a lot of that comes from the fact that I do sales. I've done sales for a very long time. Uh, I've done full commission jobs. So yeah, I feel I know how to keep someone engaged in a conversation, even if that conversation is one-sided. I mean, technically, I just picture that you're all in the audience, and that's my camera. I don't really picture that. I just tried to make it sound way better than what it is. Um, but that that's the thing. That's what I like about my videos. That's what I like seeing in videos. Um, a great example of that would be like Boogie. Boogie doesn't really script very much. Boogie doesn't really edit very much, which are two things that I do as well. Um, and a lot of that's to keep the sincerity of my content. And a lot of that's so you have... You can see the genuine reaction or my genuine appeal, uh, uh, feelings about it rather than me feeling, oh, I didn't like this part. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to put it up this way. So I'm not editing myself for you to see me in a certain light. I'm showing you exactly how I talk to my friends or exactly how I would carry a conversation or how I would interact um, or what my opinions were. And that's something I love about my content. So if, if you are getting on YouTube and you are starting off, these are all things you really need to keep in mind and things you need to make sure that aren't going to eat at you when you're on here. Um, and I, 
man, there are some times where I can tell you I have regretted what I have said to someone in the comments. Like, I have just snapped before. Um, it's going to happen. You're, you're going to have that. Um, I, I think I'm a pretty nice person as long as you didn't instigate it. Once you instigated it, yeah, oh, yeah, there's, and here's the thing too. So as I said, you're going to offend some people with trolling a troll back, but sometimes that troll all of a sudden is going to sub to your channel and like your content because you're willing to give them shit back. So it's really hard to kind of weigh in um, what, what, what's going to happen on that. And there are some really mean comments out there. Like, I mean, there are ones that were I wouldn't have repeated in a mean comments video. Uh, and as some of you know, I've been looking for more to do another one of those videos. Um, but just keep in mind, no matter what you do or what you try to do, someone's... Someone's always going to have some issue with what you're doing at all times. I guarantee you this video is going to get a dislike pretty quickly. Um, couldn't tell you who. I know there are a lot of people that I've ticked off because of the way that they've responded to me and then tried to say, oh, I'm just giving you criticism. Remember what I said about criticism. A lot of people think that that's all of a sudden an excuse, and it's not. Um... I've, I've critiqued videos, obviously, as well, and I, I would never go after someone who didn't say something that obviously deserved it. Like, oh, I recommend bad games to people, or oh, I make fun of people after they leave the store, or oh, Nazis are as bad, or grammar Nazis are as bad as Nazis, or oh, I text and drive. Yeah, I mean, there, there's sometimes where my, my next, my next response videos might not even be as mean, um, but boy, are they going to be entertaining. Ugh. So, and I mean, a lot of this was for me to vent. That's, that's why I did this video. Uh, a lot of people always sometimes think like, oh, you're only worrying about your views. No, that's, that's not the case. I, I love my community. If you can't gather that by the fact that I respond to my community, then you don't actually watch or pay attention to my content. If you think that I'm just fishing for views, yes, you make content to get views. That is literally the point of having a channel. If you're making content to not get views, keep them on your phone. That's all I'm saying is some people aren't always understanding. Or where people are like, oh, you monetize your videos. Dude, there's people that put ads midway through their video. I don't do that. I'm not going to milk money out of you. If you want to be someone who watches my content, watches the ad, thank you. I appreciate that. I have a Patreon if you do want to help support the channel personally. Um, and a lot of people will hate on you for that. Like, it doesn't matter... What you try to do, no one understands that YouTube is still a business. This is still your channel. I, I eventually would love for this to be a career. But it's also a very unstable career. You don't know what to expect. Any on Per video, per month, you have no idea what's going to happen. And you have no idea when YouTube's bubble's going to burst. Eventually, YouTube won't be the only tube site. I mean, ex there's already like RedTube and, you know, that stuff. But that's not what I'm talking about. So, guys, just keep that in mind, too. A lot of times when you're commenting to YouTubers, sometimes it bottles up and eventually you might receive a Kamehameha. It happens. But, guys, I will have plenty more content coming for you soon. If you do want to follow me anywhere social media-wise, obviously on Twitter I run a lot of polls, you can do so by following the links in the description box. I appreciate all the support, guys, and thank you for watching this rant, especially. But I'll have plenty more content coming for you, and we'll see you soon.